in, in Castle Valley, Utah, Daystar Academy, and I have Jerry and Wendy Harris with me today, and uh, we're happy to be talking a little bit about what's happening there. Tell us a little bit about Daystar, Jerry, if you don't mind, and show us a picture, too, of what Daystar looks like. Okay. Daystar Academy is located in the southeast corner of Utah. Uh, we're located in a beautiful valley. We're surrounded on three sides by red rock mesas. The other side is uh, the LaSalle Mountains. We have numerous peaks up there above 12,000 feet. Uh, we have a, a Christ-centered academic program, and uh, we also have a, a strong work program where we, we emphasize the practical skills, skills for the students. And our, our work program kind of centers around our farm. We have a very diverse farm. Uh, we have um, greenhouses. We have an orchard. We grow alfalfa and wheat. We have a, like a 15-acre market garden. Um, so they get, they get quite an experience for that. We also do uh, a weekly outreach program, and every year all the students are involved in a uh, mission program. Okay. Well, do you have anything that's new that's just started at Daystar? Some new programs, perhaps? Yeah. W one thing that we're, we're starting this year is uh, we're calling it the Daystar Outdoor Education Program. And with the environment we're in, we're kind of in outdoor recreation heaven. Um, our area is, is worldwide known for, especially for the mountain biking and the rock climbing. So we're setting up a program where we're going to, we have um, um, some local, actually some local experts in the areas. We're going to do teaching in the rock climbing, mountain biking. Um, we're going to do horsemanship. We're going to do river rafting. We're going to do um, some birding classes and, and numerous things. We want to we present them so that any of the students uh, regardless of their skill level, can be, can be involved in them. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to do it as an, an educational thing so that they can, they can learn how to do this stuff properly. They can learn safety techniques. And um, also it's, as recreation. Uh, I feel it's important that our kids have um, appropriate recreation, especially in this day and age and, and a lot of the recreation that the, the world provides. Mm -hmm. And um, we also are putting a, an outreach and a witnessing twist to this program. So each of these entities will be involved. Uh, we know whether they're rafting down the river or learning uh, rock climbing, uh, there will be an outreach program on that. And one of them that we've worked with for a number of years uh, is our horsemanship program. So Wendy, tell us a little bit about that. Our horsemanship program has been going for many, many years, and that we're classifying it under the outdoor education, even though we've been doing it quite a while. And that's kind of how we got to thinking about these other things, was the exciting things that we're seeing about our horse program. You take a horse, and you take a student, and, and they learn things. They learn um, how to ride better. They learn how to care. They learn the responsibility. Um, and it's really exciting because it's not long, and these two become a team, mm -hmm. and there's just nothing like it. The other thing that happens is that they learn to to encourage one another. You know, we see a lot of that. And um, then the kind of the third thing that happens, which we're really excited about, is our horse program that we designed for the students has become a witnessing program. And that is is just thrilling because um, we start inviting some people from the community to come and join us when we go for a ride or meet us at the arena. We're working on some techniques. And the fellowship is just wonderful. In fact, one of the couples came and spent the entire graduation weekend going to all of the meetings and I visited with the, the gal and she just was, these, these feel like our kids that are graduating, moving on and we are so proud of them. Amen. That's what ASI is all about, witnessing in our marketplace. Definitely. Wherever the Lord, wherever we are, we are there to witness for the Lord. Um, so why don't you tell us then a little bit about how you network with other ministries? How do you work with others to be able to accomplish a common goal? One of the things we're doing this year um, with, our, with networking is, is our mission program. And uh, we're really excited about it. Um, Daystar is uniting with Maranatha, with Mission Projects Incorporated, and, and ASI. And what we're doing is we're doing the, the one-day church project down in Belize. So we're going to have a container load of churches shipped down there. Uh, Maranatha and ASI will, will take care of that part of the thing. And then um, Mission Projects is uh, working on determining the sites and stuff down there. And then we'll bring our students down in January, and uh, we'll split them up in four or five different groups, and we'll build the, the 30 churches down there. So we're really excited about networking and, and getting to be involved in this project. 
Well, thank you so much for sharing. We really appreciate it. And Wendy, maybe you could just tell us a short story about maybe something that happened to a student at Daystar. Um, this is maybe a touch different, but I'll tell you what. Last summer I had the opportunity to work a produce stand. I hadn't done much of that. And I sold this gentleman some produce, and as he was walking to his car. He got about halfway there, and he turned around, and he came back, and he said, I just see something in the faces of each one of you out there. Amen. He goes, you have something. You have this peace. There's a gentleness. And he goes, thank you so much for what you have given to our community. And I just want to take a brief moment and say thank you, ASI. Thank you, donors. Thank you, parents who sacrifice for Christian education. Amen. It is not wasted. We see things in students every day. Amen. We can witness even by just a smile sometimes. Thank you so much for sharing, and may God richly bless your academy, your ministry, and may it move forward as you continue to network with others as well. Thank you so much.